Hey everyone, it's Zach here, and I wanted to show you a couple things. Sam went out today, Black Friday shopping, and uh, she got three of these lights at Walmart. Hyper Tough brand, 4,000 lumens a piece, way brighter in this uh, area here. So pretty easy. Had to plug them all in, but did have to. I only had two plug-ins, so I had to use my extension cord. But I doubt they draw a ton of power for that to be an issue. But way, way brighter to the point where it makes the rest of my garage now look very dark and dingy. But this is where I need a lot of light because this is where I take apart things like carburetors and stuff. But it's 25 degrees outside. Uh, in here, I had the heater going, so it's about 34. Uh, 25 is um, somewhere around a few degrees Celsius. But what I thought we could do is we could do a cold start on the Cadillac because it snowed three days ago, and I haven't started it in... Boy, <laughs> I haven't started this thing in maybe a week look at all the snow I even blew the snow on top of it with the snow blower so let's just hop in there and see how she starts I figured we're getting more snow um, let's see Friday Saturday and Sunday while oh, it's dark in here so we might as well get the snow off just in time for the next alright here we go Get everything set here, front, rear, all the way, and uh, I'll get the snow scraper out like a boss. So that was actually nice. Uh, what else? I put a new muffler on the car here. I put a, when I first got it, I put a thrush turbo. By the way, I'm going to leave this burning because I'm trying to dry the floor. My mom's coming up tomorrow and I'm going to be working on just making sure her snowblower is all set to go. And uh, I had a I had kitty litter here to sop up all the wetness and boy, that makes a mess. I forget how much of a mess it makes until it happens. <laughs> but I had this Thrush Turbo muffler on here and it was a good muffler. Um, I'm going to keep it around, but it was very... It's a little more than I would like. Um, I love the sound of it. It sounded awesome, but it just became too much. So I put a new muffler on here. Uh, it's an OEM style, so it's way nice and quiet. I suppose I could show you guys that. It's a little, um, it gets real quiet after you drive it around and it warms up a bit. I'm gonna grab my brush out of the back here. Ugh. It's in here, yep. There we go. So, much quieter. Back to the, there we go. And once it warms up, it uh, is really, really quiet. But, there we go. Just like when I got her. <laughs> um, okay, let's conserve fuel. Oh, I can't have that. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's like the hardest thing to do. Anyways, um, another thing that I got going on is I ordered that exhaust. I also ordered a uh, valve cover gasket because it's kind of wet on there. It's not dripping on the manifold or anything dangerous, but just to be proactive, it was like 13 bucks. So I ordered a one of those, and I ordered a um, a couple bushings for the rack and pinion, because I noticed it needs it. Those bushings are like 250 a piece, and uh, I ordered a temperature sensor, because I, I get like 26, 27 miles per gallon. I did some research and it turns out 
a lot of people are getting 30, uh, you know, in the city and like 40 on the highway with this thing. And uh, same setup, five speed, two liter motor. So uh, one issue, you know, they said, oh, spark plugs, wires, we got that. Um, something in your charging system, we, we took care of that. Uh, and the only thing that was really left was uh, coolant sensor. And I noticed when I first got the car that the gauge was reading low. And then I put a new thermostat in there and it still read low. So I was like, well, it's just a gauge issue. Well, what can happen is if that's, uh, there's a sensor right by the thermostat and if it's reading low, it keeps the computer in what's known as a open loop, meaning it's running it very uh, rich as if it's a cold start, right? Because when you start a vehicle um, and they're cold, they always run rich. But once it heats up to the proper temperature that that sensor is supposed to tell, um, then it goes off of the O2 sensors, uh, pre-catalytic converter. So if that, it was an $8 part, so I rolled the dice on it. And uh, if that is the case, because even in the summer, it always read low. Um, so if that is the case, that it will read properly, tell my computer that it's the right temperature, and then at that point, uh, it'll go by the O2 sensors, and it should increase my gas mileage. But we will find out. That's really the only thing I can think of. It has no check engine lights on. Everything else seems, uh, obviously, is working fantastic. I, I love this car. It's been good to me. So, we're going to keep it that way. Oh, yeah. That thing, I'm going to have to... I don't really want to wipe the snow off of it, but I'm going to have to. <laughs> that way, I should back it out and snow blow. But look at it. The snow blower did such a nice job. It's right down to the dirt, almost. I can't believe it. We're expected to get 6 to 12 more inches over the course of tom late or early tomorrow through Sunday early Sunday so mainly on Saturday and uh, I told my dad today that I don't plan the way the weather's looking I don't plan on going to Thanksgiving up there uh, reason being um, for us it's like two hours and 30 to 45 minutes if we don't stop um, we always have to stop and pee so it's gonna be th closer to three hours if I have to go through um, really bad roads all the way there, um, last year it took me like three and a half hours when I hit a little bit of bad weather uh, for Christmas on my way up there. And uh, and if it's going to be really bad weather, it's hard. Because now with Rose, if it wasn't for Rose, yeah, I might, I might consider it more. But with Rose, I... Um, She's on a strict schedule for her nighttime routine. And that's kind of the issue with her strict strict schedule. Uh, even if it's at noon, which I think it is, let's say we leave there at 4 or 5. The last time we got caught up there in bad traffic or in bad weather, like snow, just like they're saying, it took us four hours. I think it might have even been longer to get from pretty much where he lives back home. It was awful, and if we leave at four or five, that ruins Rose because she's gonna be sleeping for four or five hours. So, on top of it, to be careful, we'd have to bring her packable crib, her whole nighttime bag in case we got stranded, and it's just kind of a lot more than uh, you know than I can really deal with right now. So I'd rather stay at home, stay safe, and. Uh, we'll see them for Christmas or if they reschedule I guess we'll see them for that time but uh, that's kinda where it stands now um, you know a lot a lot of people are either way you know oh you live in Minnesota just take more time well I would take more time but now that I have a kid it really uh, it really changes the dynamic <laughs> so it is what it is I'm not sure what their decision will be because they're talking about what they might do for to, tomorrow they're going to decide I guess but regardless um, that's where we stand 
Look at this butte. <laughs> oh, all right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I don't mean to bore you, but we got nice lights in here now. Cars running beautifully, nice and quiet. It gets really quiet once it's done warming up. Um, like, it's almost silent. It's weird to me. And it's so quiet inside. I found out that when I put on the other exhaust, uh, I remember it now, but I couldn't weld the very top. So it had like a one inch exhaust leak. And that's probably why it was so loud in the cab. But regardless, this one's on there right. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.